Welcome to our edition of Alar Mania Reviews, and tonight I'm here to review the Go Home Monday Night Raw show for WWE TLC, which is this Sunday. So, Kurt Angle, uh, well, first of all, the show, um, the whole show is decorated with the TLC uh, tables, ladders, and chairs around uh, the ring and around the ramp. The ramp is completely, actually, filled with uh, tables, ladders, and chairs. Um, so, they're really playing up the gimmicked pay per view. Kurt Angle comes out and. Um, he talks about the match uh, with the Shield against the uh, the Green for handicap match. Shield comes out. Uh, they make their old entrance right through the the crowd, which is really a cool nostalgia moment. Brings back those cool memories when they used to come out. Uh, one of my favorite ones was when uh, they killed Brad Maddox back in 2012 or 13. I thought, I thought that was really cool. Um, definitely almost a mark moment to see uh, the three of them back coming through the the crowd and you remember you know when they were first starting it was uh, definitely a really cool moment so I, I really like that um Roman Reigns talked first he got booed and uh Rollins talked and Ambrose talked then I uh, had Strowman come out and uh he was joined with uh, his partners Mrs. Earl Sheamus and Curtis Axel I don't know why Bo Dallas is not there Bo Dallas is not there neither is Bray Wyatt I don't know if something's wrong with their family but both of them are not there that's awkward <clears throat> Um, Kurt tells them to not fight, and um, they basically all leave. They actually go to commercial. So, all right, then uh, we see Elias in the ring. I don't really care. Um, I like him, but you know he's singing the hockey man's uh, hockey tonk man's theme song. I, I guess it was all right, but uh, the whole nerd thing I find super annoying. It's not even I don't think that's a good catchphrase at all so their opponents are jason jordan uh apollo cruz and titus o'neill and uh jordan cruz and o'neill win didn't really care much for that so renee young's with emma backstage and she's here comparing about oscar so she's gonna have the rematch she had with oscar from the nxt takeover london show which was really good so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing those two tear it up hopefully they get the chance to um and uh they were going on and then alexa bliss comes up and uh she uh you know her and she complains of oscar and that'll probably be the big feud um she convinces emma to team up with her and her emma are gonna team up against mickey james and uh, someone else's so it's alexa and emma teaming up um Cruiserweight match, Hedrick Allen did, or uh, Jack Al here, Alexander won. Don't care about the Cruiserweights. I mean, hopefully they don't close out the show again. So, Miss TV is next, and uh, it's Curtis Axel, Champs, and Cesaro. The whole ring is filled with tables, ladders, and chairs. Um, you know, I, just, I don't really care to see him talk. <laughs> I really don't care. Uh... And uh, Kurt Angle comes out. All right, so The Miz wanted to announce a fifth member, but, uh, you know, uh, Kurt Angle comes out and he says that there won't be a fifth member. Um, him and Miz go back and forth. Oh, and okay, so he announces something big. He announces it's going to be a three on three match. Um, if Braun Strowman loses to Roman Reigns to Steel Cage, um, and if uh, he wins, it's still four on three. And, um,. That's 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 a cool stipulation, I guess, to add. So uh, there's also going to be a tag team title match. Don't really care about that. Uh, up next is Alicia Fox and Sasha Banks. What the hell are they doing with Sasha? Bye, Sasha. Uh, Sasha wins. Match was a, match was uh, quick. I don't know what they're doing with Sasha. Um, okay, then they have Al- Alicia Fox beat the shit out of Sasha Banks backstage. Um, and you know, I guess that's the match. I think Alicia will probably win. I don't. They might be giving her a push, or they might be turning Sasha heel. But I think she's for sure. You know, I already read. Uh, I missed this part. But I read. I already read. They made the match official for TLC. Um, I think Alicia Fox probably wins that match. I would think, since I mean, they had Sasha beat her cleanly, so I think she'll win. Uh, Enzo's out. I don't want to watch. And Kalisto, man, I just don't care about that. 
So, uh, tag team titles, Shame and Zero, Ambrose and Rollins, um, that's up next. Match was long, Ambrose and Rollins retain, uh, I don't know what that means, if that means anything for TLC. Probably not, because, uh, you know, I mean, whenever, uh, Roman Reigns is on the team, the Shield probably will still win, but that, that was awkward. That they pinned him cleanly. Okay, so I made a, I made a mistake, it's actually gonna be three on five if Braun wins. So, uh, I think probably be Curtis will probably be the fifth guy. Finn Balor comes out, he talks about Bray Wyatt, and, you know, him and Bray Wyatt appears on the screen. I thought that shit was just terrible. All right, so we have a tag team match. Uh, uh, Alexa Bliss and Emma against uh, Mickey James and Bailey. Match wasn't very long. Um... Actually, they went through a commercial break, but Mickey James pins Alexa Bliss cleanly. I hate when they do that. Because now he just gave me the way to spoil it. I mean, I think they already gave that away with uh, Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox, who's winning on the pay per view, even though it's great to think Alicia Fox is going to beat Sasha. But it tells you how, how fall of a grace Sasha's had. But this one was just way too obvious. I know Alexa Bliss was winning anyway, but come on, do you have to make it that obvious that she's going to pin? Mickey James, I know Mickey at this stage of games doesn't make much sense to be champ, but I mean, you could at least get, build some suspense. At least, you know, I don't know. I mean, when they have you, someone you get pinned right away, uh, and Mickey James pinned her that cleanly, uh, I don't know. I just thought that, uh, kind of gave it away. They keep going to backstage with like Curtis Axel and the Mr. I just find it annoying. I don't really care. Mickey James did an interview about Alexa Bliss. Um, calls her the biscuit but I guess that's a new thing, calling her a biscuit But I mean, call her anything. That's sweet ass. Anything to talk about that sweet ass, it's fine with me. So they announced Sasha Banks and Lucia Fox on the kickoff show. Who cares? Mrs. Uh... This is talking, and I don't really care. I haven't been paying much attention to the show. Now it's time for the main event. Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns in a steel cage match. All right. Match is really good. Um, I'm enjoying it. I don't know. I, the Braun Strowman Big Show cage match I really enjoyed uh, from a month ago. So let's see if this match is as good. Uh, going back and forth, and uh, got a commercial break. We'll see who wins this. Oh my God, Kane's back! The lights went red, and there was pyro. Kane came through the mat, and he attacked Roman Reigns. Roman went for a surround punch, but Kane choke slammed him, and then Strowman hit a power slam, um, and Kane. Tombstones Roman Reigns. So, uh, Braun Strowman pins Roman Reigns. So, Braun Strowman beats Roman Reigns for like the, I don't know, fourth or fifth time in a row. Strowman beats Reigns. Braun Strowman's uh, in the match. All right. And then Miz announces that Kane's part of the match. So, it's a three on five match. I think the Shield will win. Um, Kane. So, this is really interesting. Mr. Glenn Jacobs, who's running as a Republican in uh, Tennessee for mayor in, uh, in a city in Tennessee. Kane is back. Is this just a one-time thing? It could be. I think probably just a one-time thing. Is I don't know. Maybe he already lost. I, don't, I haven't heard anything. So he prob- you know, I haven't read anything on any of the sites as to whether or not he's won or lost or whether or not his political career is already over. But um, that was awkward. I, th- I thought we- this was going to be it for Kane because I thought he was going to really go for a big career and... Um, in politics, and he is, but um, I thought that was a little surprising. I wasn't expecting him to see him anytime soon at all. Uh, but he uh, he's back. It's three on five at TLC. If still, to be honest, not really looking forward to TLC that much. I don't really care at all about the show. There's nothing on that show really gets to me. One thing I don't like, I don't like how there's only one TLC match. I usually in TLC matches, they usually do multiple TLC matches. Or they they do a TLC match, a ladder match. Tables match and chairs match. The rest of the shows just regular matches, and then you have one giant TLC match. Will probably be really long, but um, not really looking forward to the show. Didn't really watch much of the show, so watch some baseball. No more football for me, but I uh, watched some baseball. Uh, Yankees and uh, the Astros. So uh, it, it was, I'll admit, it was cool to see Kane come back. Um, 
And uh, I'm sure the TLC match will be long. It'll probably be a great match. Uh, but um, you know, I'm not. I'm just not looking forward to the show at all. I, it's gonna be cool to see Oscar debut. But I mean, they've done. They have such a bad track record with the women. It's just. It's hard. I mean, look at the, what they've done to Bailey and Sasha. It's hard to get excited about Oscar, and even on. Uh, I mean, they haven't done done a great job with Charlotte as of late. They haven't done a good job at all with Becky Lynch. They've done a. I mean, Alexa Bliss was a really good job, but she was completely unexpected. She didn't come in with any you know hype around her. It's, it's hard to get excited about. I mean, Oscar. You just feel they're gonna kill her. Like they did Nakamura. I don't mean to compare them just because they're Japanese, but I don't know. I'm I'm not looking forward to TLC that much. So Raw tonight. It was okay. It was from Portland, Oregon. So, I mean, I, the crowd was fine. Just well, didn't really care much for the show. I'm not really hyped for TLC. Uh, 